Hey, my name is Janis Gertmanis. We are here in South London with our new customer. They need gas membrane to be changed. We are here with our team behind me, ready to undertake these jobs. All the health and safety documents is passed over to my clients. Everything's been signed and we are ready to undertake these jobs. Let's go. And now we're going to check out all the gas lines is isolated, all the mixers is isolated and the gas blowers and everything is isolated and we're ready to go. A little update guys for you, lads just opened both sides of a tank, we need to get it ventilated. When all the biomethane is out, we are ready to go on the top of the roof, roll it together and get it down on the ground. Really late now, we're running out of our time. Uh, it's nearly four o'clock now, it's getting dark. We need to get these bulk membranes down. I'm going now to see what, how can I help my lads. Uh, I believe they're doing the best they can, but I'll see maybe I can help somehow. They dedicate every day a minute to get this roof down for this customer and we're going to make it and I completely believe in that. Right guys, both membranes is down on the floor. It's now nearly six o'clock. We managed to do, we managed to get them down. We're now ready to leave the place. We got, we're coming back in the morning and then we're starting to see what's the actual situation with the tank, with the straps, with the netting. But that's the job for tomorrow morning. Now all the lads leaving and we are happy and done for today. See you in the morning. Guys, what happened yesterday because of the weather conditions it took a bit longer we took down both membranes now lads are working on uh, straps they need to retighten all the straps uh, get the netting properly in place and then the gas membrane will go on shortly um, they are now on the ceiling they're working on the ceiling as well so we're changing a bit of a ceiling let me show you what I'm talking about what I'm what I'm thinking about the ceiling what about straps and the netting let me show you how the things went yesterday and what we're gonna do today let's go Right, as you already seen yesterday guys, we took off both membranes. Now the tank is opened with no membranes on. Now we, all what we have on the top of the tank now is straps and the netting. What we need to do now, we need to re-tighten those straps uh, so we can secure the middle column. And then we re-tighten netting in place. And then from there, ceiling needs to be done again we taken all uh, we taken all the ceiling off then the new ceiling comes on and that's where gas membrane is ready to come on the top that will happen in next one hour so as you can see 
there is no ceiling underneath of this uh, stainless steel plate which basically seals the roof so what our lads going to do they're going to properly get it cleaned off and then new ceiling material comes underneath of it foaming comes on top of that stainless sheet and then we install gas membrane and then the weather membrane back in place and then the other stainless steel sheets which secures all the roof comes on top of it and we bolt it down all the way uh, on this ring so yeah that's 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 the job what we need to undertake today and i believe we're going to finish today because it looks pretty much good weather yesterday was more freezy uh, but today is it's good weather i'm literally hot i'm running around and talking with guys i literally feel really good because it's not as freezy as yesterday but yeah that's where we are we've got one of the crew members attached to the crane working on the top of the middle column to make sure we have all the straps in the right places Loves for beginners, ain't no winners. That's doable any time. Yeah, well, I think we're, yeah. I think we're going to do a, a campaign of intensive sick flex and bolt tightening for the next couple of weeks. Or more. Yeah, I'm happy to go up there once a week and just check 50% yeah. of the bolts. Yeah, just to make sure they've got the torque on. The ones you do it once after oh, after we leave in, in let's say in a month time. Yeah, it should be. That should be all because that's same. Uh, it, it's the same with the tires when you tighten them up. Exactly. Yeah. Once they're set. And then set, you do it. At, yeah. You know, it's just not. Not yeah. for the security. You can ask to check it. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's worth doing it. It's worth you know a couple of hours going up with a sizzle yeah. or whatever yeah. just to give it a bit of a. Yeah. Right, guys. This is gas member now going on to the top of the middle column. We're going to get a crane. Uh, slowing down because it moves as you can see we're gonna get it straight dead on the center the ones that's on then we're connecting lads back on the crane they're jumping on uh, they're jumping up and uh, we unroll it and get it in place the ones that in place then the weather membrane comes in the same matter uh, same manner <laughs> back onto the center and we lay it out and that's the point where we can back seal it and, and in place it I'm Chris Gladhill, I'm the Head of Engineering and Projects here at BioCollectors. We operate a, a unique facility in the market where we have a food waste collection service and the using of the AD technology we then convert that into a, a biogas. We use the biogas to either generate electricity via our CHPs or we have the option to send the gas out to the national grid straight down the pipe and uh, supply the homes and houses in the area. Uh, beyond that, we also have a fleet of gas-powered collection vehicles, so all our fleet operates on, on the gas that we produce here in these uh, digesters. Uh, we, had a, we had a situation where we found a, a premature failure on one of our digesters on the gas membrane, and it's taken a while to, to diagnose it fully, but we eventually came to the conclusion we had a, a membrane failure. We went out to tender to a few companies for support and service for this aspect and we selected Construction Crew Limited to carry out the service and remediation works. Uh, the main reason for this was the, the transparency of the CCL offering. We had a pricing framework which is entirely honest and transparent, uh, no hidden extras and it was a you get what you pay for service. Um, beyond that we've got a roadmap and working with uh, the guys at CCL, Yanis and the team, we've got a structure where we've got the, the next period asset management will be in hand. We have a framework for pricing for modifications that we can take as our option. And then beyond that, we may have a, an option where we work on additional assets within the company. That's it. Thank you.
Right guys, I'm leaving now. Uh, I've been here for the last two days uh, together with my team. They don't need my help anyway. They can do the job. I just came down because it's a new customer and I just needed to show my presence. I've been here, I've spoke with them. Yeah, it went really, really good. Lad's gonna crack on and finish the job, but I need to leave because I've got lots to do in office. I've got other jobs coming, so I need to communicate. So I don't have any time more to spend with my lads. Lads are here. So once they finish, then you're gonna, of course, see what our customer is. You're gonna hear our customer thoughts about how we did uh, and, and who we are. So yeah, I'm gonna see you on the next one.